Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I bring you a panda haul video. Today we're gonna to be creating this DIY project on how to make a wire wrap necklace with jade beads. And I have all the things um, from my kit from pandahaul.com. If you haven't checked their website out, you can do so. And there are also in written instructions that you get with the kit, along with also an extended um, link where you can go to their le learning center to find out more about step-by-step -step on how to create this. But we're gonna go with the instructions and create this beautiful necklace that we have right here. So let's get started. The first thing I wanted to grab is this thicker wire that they have here. It doesn't say how many, um, how much of a gauge it is. Uh, it looks very thick. I'm, I'm not sure if it's gonna be very pliable. So we are going to find that out. And let's see, let's take this out of here. There we go. It's pretty thick. It's very pliable, very soft wire. Definitely you have to be very careful with it because you can bend it really quickly. So this might be like an 18 uh, gauge wire. So it's okay, but we're gonna use it. We're gonna use also the tools they have provided for us. And uh, I'm gonna put the instructions to the side. These are the tools that we're going to be using right now, the tools that they provided from pandahole.com. We have some wire cutters, round nose pliers, flat nose pliers, and bent nose pliers. We're gonna use a 0.5 millimeter wire, some chain, beads, clasp, uh, jump rings, and uh, pin eye needles. So uh, let's get started. The first thing it says is that we're gonna create a, like a U shape here with these two little forms. Um, and it, it goes down, so it goes like a U, and then it comes down. So the first thing I wanna create is I'm gonna create a loop here, and then I'm gonna create the actual roundness of it. So we don't have like the round mandrel that I've showed you on my previous videos, but we're gonna to try to do it with what we have here, and I'm gonna show you how. So the first thing we're gonna do is we are going to make a, uh, do a little loop here where we can close this just up to there, as you can see right there. There we go. And then we're gonna grab the biggest part of our round nose pliers, and we are going to create that curb. So this shows that it goes from down here to create a curb, and then it comes around. So we're just gonna give it all the way down. We're just gonna give it a few, maybe half an inch, and half an inch, then that's when we're gonna bend this all the way around there we go and we're going to create that form as you can see you don't always need the mandrel but you do need somewhat of a eye to guide yourself around it and that's what you do with it and then we're going to do the same on the opposite side um, as you can see this is very very pliable so um, this is really nice though to work with and then we're gonna do the same on this side. We're gonna sort of create that roundness here and then we're gonna start it off over here. So I'm gonna do, put my roundness pliers here and I'm gonna, again, bend the wire this way. I'm gonna grab it with my hand, bend it this way. There we go. And then this is where I'm gonna do my cut so I can um, do my loop and create the same thing here. Uh, and I'm just eyeballing this. I um, don't have it exact, so we might need to cut a little bit more once we're done. So I cut that there. Let's see how this can turn out. I think this is too much wire that I have here. So let me cut it this way. There we go. And now I'm going to, um, let me see the measurement here. Uh, yeah somewhere around there. Okay, we're gonna do grab it right here, and then we're gonna go around. There we go, just like that. We kinda have an idea of what it's gonna look like. Uh, it's sort of perfect, not perfect enough, but it's sort of perfect. I have a little uh, cream here, a little lotion that I have from Soap and Glory, but I'm just gonna use it to give it that form that I want, like that semi-circle form, just like that. You can grab anything, you can even use your, the same thing that comes in here. You can use a cup that you can do around. Uh, you can use a candle that I have here and you can turn around like that. I mean, you can use many things. 
So, but this is what I'm gonna be using. Okay, so this is what it looks like. And now it says that after you have that, then you're gonna grab some of the 0.5 millimeter wire and you're gonna wrap it around a couple of times. And then you're gonna put your beads in it and you're gonna wrap it to the other side and then we're gonna go around a couple of times, okay? So that's what we're gonna do. So it says, I'm gonna move these pliers from here. We're grabbing our soft wire. Here we go, let me open this here. I'm sorry, I have to do this to get this out. Otherwise, there's, I can't do it. Okay, there we go. So it's unraveling. And I'm just gonna cut this bent right here. So I don't like to work with bent wire, so I'm just gonna cut that there. There we go. And what I'm gonna do is exactly as the instructions is telling me, we're just gonna wrap it around here. So I'm gonna grab this. I'm gonna come around and I am going to wrap this a couple of times right here. I left a little bit of a tail there so I can tuck that tail in later on, but for right now, I just need to wrap this. And this is how you do it. I don't know if you can see it very well there, but I'll zoom in. Just wrap this around, just wrap it like you're pinching uh, the wire. There you go. And once you have it there, wherever you think you want it, then I'm gonna go and just go in here and I'm gonna wrap it maybe two or three times right here. So that's one, two, three. There we go. Can you see that? There we go, I have it right in there. If you want this to stay in place, you can grab your flat nose pliers, pull this wire right here and there's kind of squish this in there to where it's gonna stay, okay? Um, because this wire is very pliable and soft, I'll be careful with doing that. It's because it's not gonna look perfect. You see how it just bent that there? I really don't like how that looks, so I'm just gonna hold it right here. I wanna try to fix this, so let's see what I can do. Yeah, let me try to fix that because I don't like how that looks. I want to do it with my hand. I'm really, really tight with my hand in there. There we go. There we go. That's better. That looks much better. I'm going to pull this in. See how that looks? That's much, much better. Okay, so once I have that there, now it says that I can put my beads through this wire, but I'll have to wrap it on this side, so I'm gonna cut myself maybe 12 inches of this wire, uh, or maybe, yeah, maybe like 12 inches. And hopefully, okay, well, I wasn't expecting that to happen, but this is something that could happen to you. When these things don't have the secure plastic here, this is what happens. So we're gonna move this aside for now, and then we're gonna come back to it. We're going to put this piece of, I'm gonna put the beads. Woo, they're going everywhere. Just gonna grab them randomly. It doesn't matter which color beads I get. I get, I just need a couple of them. There we go. Just enough to fill that gap at the bottom. There we go. I think we need one more. Let's do that. Okay, let's see how this looks. Okay, it says that I have to, there we go. They're gonna go here. I think that looks good. I'm gonna wrap some wire right in here like I did previously here, okay. I have to pull it, there we go. Let's see. It's 
is kind of tricky, but you can do it. So this is a one, two, and I have three with this last one. So I want to crunch that in there. So I have all these right here, and then I want to do the same thing I did here. I'm going to wrap this part right here with it, okay? I'm gonna grab everything, and I'm gonna go here with my hands because the wire is very soft and you can do that. One, two, three, and four. I did four in the other one, so I'm gonna do four in this one. And then it says that you have to come back here and go through each bead. So let's do that. Uh, the way I'm going to do this is just going to be a little bit different because I want this to be very seamless and pretty. So I'm going to tuck it through this right here if it lets me. Uh, it won't let me. Okay. So we're going to do go over on the top, under, over, under, over, under, and over, just like that. Under, over, just going around. There we go, going around. Oops, I think I went twice on this one, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oopsie, oopsie, oopsie. I don't wanna ruin it. Okay, so over, under, over, there we go and under and over, under and over. There we go. And if you have enough wire, you can do a double, at which I'm going to attempt to do that. Let me see if it needs it. Oh, it doesn't need it. It's just like that. That's all you need. That looks really cute. I like that. I've never done one of these before, so Bear with me if I'm not doing something right, but I'm just following the instructions so you guys can see. And then I'm gonna wrap it a little bit more here and go up and then I'm gonna cut this wire and that's just gonna be the end of it. There we go. And I'm just gonna tuck this to where I have little beads everywhere. Just tuck, tuck them in there. There we go. Just gonna just gonna tuck them in here. There we go. Just gonna pull it like around. There we go, around this part right here. Same with this one. Let me see if I can do it with this one. But I'm just trying to wrap it around this, this part of the wire. There we go. There we go. Okay. I think I got it there. There we go. Okay. Now, there. Oops. I'm just trying to pinch it. Okay, I think I got this. And you know, this is all trial and error. Because if you've never done this before, this is just gonna be how it's gonna look for the first time, but then eventually, once you do it more and more and more, you get better at it. Okay, so we have that first part done, okay? Now I'm gonna pick up all these beads and I'm gonna put them back in the little bag because I don't need them. And you can pick whatever color, it just happened to turn out like that. I didn't, I just randomly picked the colors. You just saw that. Whatever we had on the mat here is what I did. So, okay, so we have that. Now it says here, after you've done all that and you wrap it, then you're gonna come over here and wrap two beads on each, one on each side, okay? It has like the loop, which I'm gonna use these. So I need two more beads. There's one and two pins, head pins or eye pins. And it says to pick two colors from here, which it doesn't really matter. I wanna pick um, those two colors. It's the same color, but doesn't matter. Okay, this one here 
And then you're gonna do um, a loop and you're gonna wrap it. So I'm gonna do a loop here, like that. There you go. And then I'm gonna wrap it and I'm gonna come in here with this one. Just gonna go around. go. It doesn't have to be perfect. I mean like it doesn't have to be like a big wrap loop. It can be just uh, you can wrap it one time, twice, however, whatever makes you comfortable. There we go. Do a second one. Here. There's my first step to that one, and then I want to wrap this around. And there we go. You have to do that two times. So cut the excess on that and then I want to straighten it out there we go okay I'm gonna straighten this out there we go and I'm gonna tuck that in there we go okay so we have these two that are going over here okay I'm gonna grab two of these And um, I think I'm gonna grab this size right here. You're gonna need four, two, one for each side. And then for the top part where it links with the chain, I'm gonna do the smaller one. Let's see how that's gonna work out. So we have, I want some movement here. That's why I'm doing this one, okay. I opened it, put it through here. I put this one through here, and then I want to close it. I want to do the same on the other side. I'm going to grab my bead, and then I want to close this right there. Okay, now I have my two things that are gonna go on my necklace. And the chain is gonna go here and here. And this is the chain that they provided. That's the chain I'm gonna use. Okay. And I think I'm gonna use the whole chain because, uh, oh, I don't want it to be too long. I want this to be like an 18 inch long necklace, which means I'm going to kind of measure it from here to there, and then that's what's gonna be. And then I'm gonna use the little ones here for, to attach it to this chain. And I put it through here. And then I wanna put it through here. And I wanna close it. There we go. Okay, there's one. And then I am going to do the other side. Which right now I'm just gonna try to measure it like this and put it here. I haven't cut the, the chain because I'm trying to measure it like that. And I'm kind of estimating the size of it. Then I'll put my clasp up here. But right now I'm just gonna cut it right here and then that's where I'm gonna put my actual jump ring. And I'm, I just cut it because there's nothing wrong with doing that. And then I'm gonna put this one right there. Just gonna hold it. And remember, open left to right, right to left, back to front things like that so you don't mess. 
There we go. The actual ch um, jump ring. Put it through the jump ring. And I'm gonna put it through the actual loop. And then I'm gonna close this. I think this is a cute necklace. Oops, let me close this better, a little bit better. So it's quick and easy, it's cute. Okay, now that I have it here, now I'm gonna find my center of the actual chain. I mean, that's how I do it, it's easier. I wanna cut it right there on that loop. There we go. And then I'm gonna grab my, um, I'm gonna remove that link that I just cut. So I don't need that there. Here we go, and I'm gonna use, I could use the big ones, but I think that's gonna to be too much. I don't wanna use the big ones. I can use the medium size. You see how I have the little ones, the medium size, uh, the large and the extra large. You see all the different sizes. I think this will look pretty with these. So I don't think I need anything bigger than that. So two of those will work for me. And then this is the class that they provided. Okay. Or you know what? I'm gonna do a little teeny tiny one on this side because that's where I'm gonna put this right here. And then I'm gonna put the big one here. And I know why, because I want it to be easy for me to put in through here so I can hold it and grab it with my hand. Although this size is very good too. I'm gonna use the in between these two. How about that? I think that's gonna look prettier for me. I think that's what I want. You can always add a bigger, um, a bigger jump ring to give it more flexibility if you want to. Uh, let's say I'll go with this size so you guys can see how that looks. You don't have to, but you can. So those are the sizes I'm gonna use. So that's how you, you just try it, trial and error. Uh, see what works. Okay, so let's open this uh, jump ring right here, front to back, remember? Put it through the chain, close the chain. Okay, open your jump, your next jump ring. And again, this is going to be where you're gonna put not only the clasp, but you are also gonna put the chain, okay? And then we're gonna close it. Okay, close it really well, there you go. I wanna make sure this is really closed. There we go. And then we're going to it here this is kind of a 20 inch it, it turned out to be a little bit longer than what I wanted oops wait a minute there we go there we go I forgot to close it there we go and then we close it there you have it look how pretty and this is how the necklace turned out to be I want to move all this to the side I want to show you look how pretty that turned out to be that is beautiful. I really love it. I can definitely see myself practicing this loop here better and tighten this a little bit better so it doesn't look like that. Like one side turned out to be pretty, the other one so-so. Eh, so I would practice doing this again so it would look better. But this is basically a great kit for you to start so you can do uh, things with it. You can change the colors. It brings the instructions. This is all from pandahall.com. I'll link the website somewhere around here. Well, and this is it. I hope you guys enjoy the video and until next time, God bless.